A lot of times when we're thinking of network automation, we think of things like doing change management on a device or maybe integrating uh, different management tools together. But there is really another use case that's really useful and that's actually being able to collect non-standard data uh, and then ingest it into uh, a monitoring tool like the IBM Sub-1 Network Performance Monitor. So uh, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how we can go about doing just that. And the example that I'm gonna use today is uh, an Ericsson XML uh, file that gets generated from the Ericsson EMS system for a SGSN MME device. So looking at this, uh, by default, the, the uh, EMS system will export data on a periodic basis. In this case, every 15 minutes, it's exporting uh, the performance data for this device and uh, in, it's putting it in XML format. So typically most solutions don't natively know how to parse something like this and uh, SEV1 is no different, but the one difference is we have uh, a no-code, low-code automation tool that's able to read this data in and then it can convert it to the format that we need for SEV1 and then uh, import that into SEV1. So now we can take advantage of things like baselining, standard deviation alerting, and, um, and just also just being able to view all of our performance data from a single platform instead of having to, uh, to go multiple places. So to take a look at this really briefly here, um, we'll take a look at uh, the rapid network automation interface. And so in this case, I've got a, a, work, a workflow called Ericsson XML Collector, and I'll open this up real quick here. And you can see that it um, provides me with uh, somewhat of a, looks like a flow chart, but um, gives me the workflow to go out and to get this work done. So um, I'm able to drag and drop these different no-code, low-code blocks onto the screen and interconnect them into a, a workflow. So the first thing I'll do is I'll check for the files to process. So the, uh, the EMS will load its, the files into a directory uh, and then I can go and see if, if there are new files for me to process. If so, I'm going to go ahead and process the files, otherwise I'll end if there's nothing to do, if I'm all caught up. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna process the file. Uh, once I get the file, I'm gonna read the file in and convert it to JSON, which then allows me to do additional um, formatting of the file in order to make put it in the format that Sub1 needs to import it. And that's really all that there is to it. When I run this script, if there's a file out there, I'll go ahead and run it now. There may or may not be a file to, to be had, but we'll take a look here. And it's actually, you can see it's getting, it's telling me what it's doing here. So it went out and got the file and it's processing the data within the file. And as soon as it's done, then we can go ahead and take a look at the results. So it's gone ahead and it's uh, reading through all of the data there. As it reads it, it'll create devices, objects, and, and indicators within SEV1 if, if they're needed. So you can see it processed, it said 544 objects there. Uh, within SEV1 then, it, it went ahead and it created all of these definitions for me just by reading that XML file. So I didn't have to do any of this work manually. And these are all the different types of components that are available within that particular XML file with the related indicators for each. So uh, once that's done, then the data is now available for use within SEV1. So here I have a, an Ericsson uh, XML collector report, and I can see the top end of you know, some of the metrics here. Um, the IP interface is bandwidth in and out. You know, it allows me to see which, which are being used most heavily. Uh, I can also trend that data over time. And then um, in addition to that, just so you can see the, the, the breadth of uh, objects that are available from this device now. These are all the different object types here and then you can see the indicator types on the right that this is a, a custom widget that um, I put together just to be able to display since it creates so many different object types being able to go in and, and take a look at um, everything that's available it's it's quite ex expansive. So, so anyway um, this is just an example of one of the ways that you can use Sub1 Rapid Network Automation in order to augment your, um, your current network monitoring solution to be able to bring in non-standard data within, into Sub1. Thanks.